Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a hair video. I've never really done a hair video, but I went to Food Lion yesterday and I was like, um, I remembered how good like Oxy used to smell and how strong it used to be. And then like back when I used it, like years ago, back when it was popular, my hair was freaking long and like it was amazing. So I'm gonna try these products again in 2023 and see how they hold up. I picked the Miracle Moist one because it's just what I know. Although I have tried the 3 Minute Miracle Curls product. Um, I figure I'm gonna stick to what I know and try again. So we got the shampoo. Yup. And the conditioner. I got it from Google, so I saved a dollar. They like 50 cents off on sale. And I also got a hairspray at the store. So, tried that in my room today, like, you know, around the edges, and I think it's okay. I'm gonna try it when I style my hair. I just didn't buy any, like, curl styling products, so I'm just literally gonna use that normally do, and I normally like, not your mother's, I love not your mother's. I'm gonna really go, so, actually, for what products I use, um, in the bathroom. It's kind of messy, but I'm gonna show it anyways. So. So in my like little cart of stuff, I have like my little pieces of butter. And then I also have my menstrual cups and filling wash for my piercings. And then down here is my styling products. And I have like a range of products. Like I got Not Your Mother's, it's a new one hair perfector. I've used this as like a heat protectant. Um, it does protect, but like my hair got really frizzy. Um, I do have dry shampoo, even though I don't have like light purple hair. I, at one point I was going to the gym every day, so my hair was like really greasy. Or, or like very sweaty, not so much greasy. I really only like it for the smell. But my favorite hair gel ever is the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Sculpting Gel. And it is so good. Like I always need like a staple, like a, a backup of this product, but I'm so backup. And then I recently tried this one. It is really nice. I really like this product in silicone free. Because I mainly stick to silicone free products, but I also want to try silicones again. So, and then the leave-in conditioner is really good. And I have another one that I've tried. This one, it's the same as the Curl Talk one, so they both smell the same. And then for oils, I have this Curls Blueberry Mint Scalp Treatment. It's hair all over. But, um, and I do have the Miel Rosemary Mint hair product. Just like blow up on TikTok. And then Eco Styler. I still use Eco Styler even though like people say it's bad. I still use it. So. And as I am, this is like a curl enhancing smoothie. I also have Shea Moisture. I'm trying to like not buy Shea Moisture anymore because the quality of Shea Moisture has significantly gone down since they were like popping back when like the natural hair community was popping on YouTube. So I do have some of their products but I don't really plan on buying it again just because of that reason and yeah, curl enhancing smoothie. So I keep on in my bathroom. I don't have a lot of this left. I haven't been eating it recently though, but... And then, some hair mask or a new routine. This one's pretty good. It's very strong, so it makes your hair smell really good. So if you want something that like, will make your hair smell good, I will try this out. And one of my favorite products ever. This is not your mother's hair mask, it's so good. Like, it leaves your hair so soft, it's everything. This Shea Moisture Men's Deep Conditioner. I really only got it because it smelled like men's cologne, so that's why I got it. And then another hair mask is the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Mask. I really like that line. And lastly, the shampoo and conditioner I've been using is the Not Your Mother's Garnelia Flower and Mango Butter shampoo and conditioner. The shampoo is in my bathroom, so 
right there. So, yeah. So basically all I'm gonna do is like put some oil in my hair and like put my hair back for when I go to the gym. And then when I come back, I am actually going to take a shower and like do the whole routine with the product. Okay. I just got out of the shower and that shower was hot. Plus it's like hot here. It's just a hot shower. Be brutal sometimes because it's so hot. So my hair is in the shower and I'm gonna see you on my hair next time. But I'm gonna grab Styles products. I am gonna try to use this as a hair gel or like to try to like have clothes for girls. I don't know how it's gonna go, so I'm gonna do it completely transparent. I might have to pull out my own hair gel that I normally use. But if I do like the way my hair looks, I might give the styling products a chance. The styling products look pretty good, so I would try them. These two products. And I'm gonna try to use this as like the hair gel. I don't know how my hair feels with this thing. Alright, here's the review. My hair smells so good. I miss the smell, like the smell. It smells so good. Now what matters is how my hair looks tomorrow when it's dry. So this is what it feels like when it has a towel. Also, when I washed my hair, the shampoo I felt just so strict, like it felt like it was stripping my hair. I felt this as much as like any other shampoo I've used that felt like me. To me, like shampoo just always makes my hair feel stripped or whatever. So that's that. And the conditioner, of course, was the thing that I like to do again. Not for me, but it's the awesome conditioner, awesome money. So, first time we've done so good. And it felt soft rinsing out. So. And it's like, it's also for the engine, it does have those on in it. So, of course, it's going to make it look soft. Awesome. But the good problems about it is that it does help with the thing. And, like, I didn't stay in the shower all day trying to plug up my hair. And, my sides and my hair like I tend to get like a lot of knots here in the side of my head and I was able to like get through that easily so that is a pro it has its pros and cons I know some people are against it saying it's bad and bad or it causes hair loss I think the important thing to remember is that when it comes to hair loss there's a lot of other factors that play a role in it other than just like what product you're using, what product can play a role. But also like how are you wearing your hair? Are you doing a lot of music to the hair stuff and causing hair loss? Like, or like, depending on your diet, like what are you eating? Are you drinking water? And I know a lot of people say that when it comes to like hair growth, they're like, drink water, drink water. But like, it really doesn't make a difference. Like, if you don't drink water, like your body just isn't the same. But yeah. So people are against it because it's so important to so I mean, I think products are still big and they work fine. So I had a lot too when I was a kid, so I really wasn't washing my hair like that when I did my hair, but. I know when I was using these products at one point, my hair was freaking long. Partially because it was like during COVID, around that time. So I wasn't really doing my hair. I was definitely was not using any heat because I had nobody to see, nothing to do. So my hair was freaking long, longer than it is right now. So I've like honestly cut it a couple times this year because I like wanted my hair to be shorter. So I was like tired of like hair. But at the same time, I love long hair, but I also can't stand it. So I wanted to cut it, and I did it. And I liked it, but it's like grown back, and I kind of like throw it out a little bit more. Yeah, I've gone through a lot of like hair phases where my hair is just like literal dog shit. 
like literally from grade, I had a relaxer phase, and then up to like maybe ninth grade. Fifth grade, I started like actually taking care of my hair and like not getting relaxed anymore. Because at one point, I did not like my hair. Like I just didn't like it. I did grow up in like a predominantly white school, so like all most people there were white people. There weren't really many people of color. I'm not even gonna lie to you, my hands can feel dry, so I'm gonna be completely transparent, my hands feel dry. But this bottle is like annoying because you have to sit here and just spray it, so this is gonna be annoying for me to do it. I got with my hair gel, but it's like hair spray. And I've never really used hair spray before my hair. And one thing about me is I like a lot of hole in my hair. So my hair will last longer. And the thing about my hair is I struggle to get my hair to last all day. That's so part of the reason why I use a lot of like hair gel. I know a lot of people don't like a cast which their hair feels crunchy, but I love it, so I am gonna fix my edges a little bit. Another, another product people don't like, go Tyler. I feel like with these products, my hair dries a lot quicker, like it's very dry, like it's not holding moisture. I don't know if that's a good thing or bad thing. I do have hot glass in here, so I don't think it might really like hold moisture. I need a haircut, but I just want to let it grow out for a bit and then bring it out. It even. And then the thing about haircuts is like finding somebody who knows how to do my hair. It's a strong pole, so. Bond, but it's quite okay. It's cold, but it'll be on the pin. I would try to use though, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I used to use like, I remember I used to use the herbal essence of one, and it was like the best thing ever for me. Like, out of the back of the day, I used to use that. Maybe like, I don't know what's going on. This is not what I'm doing. I'm just like, hang out by the time. My hair will get frizzy. I automatically will give all of you, so black hair don't exist for me. Okay? I'm gonna give all of you. People are like, ooh, girl, you ain't got long. It'll come, it'll come. What we got? Five years. I kind of picked a bad shirt because my hair is bleeding in the shirt, but it's <laughs> fine. Too bad, wet. I'm going to go ahead and clip it up in a little flip. So that's what I do when I 
style of my hair. I cook it up and then I'll take it out in the morning. So you know, help keep it stretched, retain some length. And if I just leave it like this, it'll like literally shrink up really bad. So at least I'll get a day of like it being at this length. Maybe a little shorter, but probably have to redo that. Little bit, you know, it's like my version of flopping. You know how people flop their hair, but like flop it in a towel and let it sit. Mm -hmm. My version of flopping, like I just let it sit and take it out from the ground. Probably tomorrow morning. I don't even use this tonight, but we got it. I'll put my little bonnet over here. Okay, so we're gonna put this little bonnet over here. For the rest of the night. Yeah. Okay, so it's the next morning or the next day. So I'm going to see what the hair looks like straight out clip. So I'm gonna take my bonnet off. Yeah. I know for a fact my hair pro smells freaking amazing. Like, that comes smell me. I know I smell good, but yeah. Fish getting ready. Fiji old rice deodorant. Best thing ever. So I'm editing the video, but this is what my hair looks like because I didn't update what my hair looked like. But I still have definition and my hair is a little frizzy, but I feel like my hair always frizzes up. But yeah, this is just like day first day one hair. So it's not bad to be day one hair. And I've like pulled it back on everything and like put my bonnet back on to like lay down and stuff. So what is looking like? Not bad. Honestly, not bad, so I think I will probably try some of Aussie styling products because I'm like in this era where I'm like, I don't, I don't really care about the ingredients and products. I'm just going to use it if it works good, so yeah.